YouTube, it's guess the rank time. This is episode 11 or 12. I can't keep track of them anymore. We pick random games in Tekken, we watch them, and then we guess what the rank is. Let's get into it. All right, we got game one started. It is a Raven versus a Paul. I couldn't even tell what they were playing at first. All right, hits him with the mid, no follow up. We need to tap into the game so it's not so laggy. Hits him with the mid. They're just playing neutral right now. They're just backing up, not really trying to do anything. Nice low low. Hits him afterwards. Down forward one. That's a full combo. Nice. Gets him with the counter hit there. That's gonna kill. Okay. It's an interesting... It's interesting that they play neutral like that, but this Paul is still hitting buttons in that situation. Although it is a down jab, so maybe that's what I did before. I wasn't really paying attention. Got hit by the second hit. It would have been really indicative of his rank if we saw if he was sidestepped that or not, but... Unfortunately, he got hit, so that's not going to help us too much. That shoulder's guaranteed. They're very nice. Cancels in the demo, man. You know, I think both of these guys are pretty good. God break. Enrage. Now they're both enraged. The one knee is going to kill. He did the full string, which is interesting. It's Raven from Bleach. Tried to punish with shoulder. The shoulder punish wasn't that good, but it was... It, I mean, it still works. That's going to get full combo at that range. He didn't get the wall tornado. Paul didn't punish that minus 14. That's weird. Good grab. No duck on the high again. That's a classic setup in the shoulder. That's why he got ducked the high. He's not ducking the high again. Interesting. Okay. Hellfire in the hellfire. The projectile is good, but not that good. Someone just used Heat Burst there and it traded. Down one, hits back turn. It seems good. Bushin. I'm picking blue rank, yeah. I know it's always blue, but at first I was thinking this could be Tekken King, but the lack of ducks in punishment in some instances tells me that their defense isn't quite up there enough to be Tekken King. But I think Bushin's a good place to put it. He fell for that again in rage, and then I'll kick your ass. Was that it? Did the Paul win? Yeah, the Paul won. Yeah, I mean, I think this is a pretty straightforward one. It's always blue. Yeah, I mean, I think this was a pretty strong game. Right all around. They were playing neutral. They weren't too concerned on rushing each other down. Paul had setups that were working. Raven was doing good mix-ups and combo conversions. The lack of punishment and ducking is... I linger on that too much, and I think, like... Before I look back at, at previous guest ranks, and I'll be like, how to be purple and not ducking like Paul's 3 2? But then I learned that that's actually pretty common, even at blue ranks, for highs to not get ducked. So I'm not going to look at that too much. Um, but the way that they were playing neutral makes me think it's blue. I think that they played in a way that's almost Tekken King, but not quite. I don't know, even know if I want to say Bushin necessarily because of the mistakes that were being made. I'm just afraid that I'm exaggerating it a little bit, but they played well. I think it's going to be like mid-blue. You know, I think it's going to be like Raijin-ish. I, I think there's a chance that it could be Battle Ruler. And the reason I think that is because I'm thinking maybe it could be Battle Ruler on a secondary or something like that. Both playing secondaries. I don't know. That's why you had a little bit of weird decisions. But they were converting really well, and that makes me think that it's not that. So, I'm going to say Raijin. I'm going to say Raijin right in the middle of blue. So, our predictions are just about in here. And most people are saying blue. Uh, we got a crazy bet on red, which is... Dakadoon. I, I, what? Dakadoon, I need to know. What makes you think this is red? <laughs> I really need to know why you think this is red. I'm regretting it. Perfect. Just what I want, though. I couldn't make a proper prediction, so I just went blue. It's always blue. It's always blue, as we're going to find out right now, because it's always... It was Raijin! Ah, oh, that's a, such a good start. I... Oh, I said Raijin, and I said it could be Battle Ruler. Oh, my. I'm so talented. I'm so good. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, I love blue. Uh, and the Paul's on a secondary as well, I, I, I think, unless he demoted back to Battle Ruler. Woo! All right. Game two. 
Hold on, I'm waiting to make sure there's no promotion. Okay, there's no promotion. Game two, Victor versus Reyna. The Reyna is, okay. So that's the kind of game, we'll... oh. That was a lot that happened in the first two seconds and I don't even know where to begin with it. So I'm just gonna move on. Minus eight for the counter hit. Frame trap into the low. A lot of aggression, armor move to get around the aggression. Mid. The. How do you attack into that? I don't. She just she just did running three and it whiffed. Oh, not another armor move. That's 53 damn. Oh no. Does the victor have a combo? The victor does have a combo. Now Okay, so you're just trying to embarrass me at this point. All right, go on then, Luigi. That didn't even flump. Why? Uh, no. Oh! Why are you waiting for spring kick and then doing ray heat first to punish it? Why not launch it? Kind of deserve that, to be honest. Yellow or orange, this could be purple. Nice little low. House sweep. I mean, she has the house sweep down. 2-2. Two, two. Down back four. She's going for 2-2s. Two, she tried to duck the gunshot? Whoa. Okay, this is not orange if she's trying to duck the gunshot. Unless that was a mistake. Unless that wasn't real. Plus one, but I go red. That was a nice little whiff punish. Frame trap there. I mean, she has frame traps down. You don't really see that in red ranks. Heat dash, minus 12, no punish. No one can punish anything here. Punishment is illegal. That's why you just throw it down for a two. In this case, down for a two of Reyna is pretty much safe. I've never seen a hot kick with Reyna as an ender before for a combo. That's incredible. Nicely done. That's a big hit. I'm sorry, did you just do Heat Engager into the launch punishable hot kick? Nothing's punishable in this game. Okay, no sidestep, that just whipped. Richter didn't even try, like you have that armor move. We'll punish with the armor move. It's minus 14. Such blue gameplay. Listen, just because the rain is blue doesn't mean that this is actually blue. You should be looking more at the victor. Okay, so the victor is green. And the Reyna is blue. What is the rank in between that? Red. It's as simple as that. It's always red. So honest to God, I think this is purple. I move Trey on this one. I think it's purple or red. I think it's like mighty ruler. Ah, fuck. I want to say red. And most of the time when I'm like this, where I like... Uh, I think it's purple, but I really want to say red because something is telling me it's red. It ends up being purple. So I'm trying to think because the, the reason why I want to say purple is because of the frame traps. There was a bit of small tech in there with the down four ones. It generally looked like they knew what they were doing. It was the lack of punishment that was getting me. But we've seen that all the time on this series where people have done like mid arm moves and not punish them constantly and i'm sitting here tearing my hair out saying mid arm moves are always punishable what are you doing and then they end up being bushin or something so i'm going to say mighty ruler i want to give a little bit of wiggle room to say that it's red because i think it could be tenure you as well but i'm going to stay mighty ruler i feel pretty confident sticking to mighty ruler that's why i want to keep it at so I'm just going to stick with Mighty Ruler and leave it there. Only yellow ranks wear those stupid helmets. Yellow! Damn. Let's take a look at what people are saying on Twitch with the predictions. We have the three people saying blue. With a 1k bet from Lissetta with blue because it's always blue. That's crazy. And then, you know, the rest of them are a little bit evened out. We have one trying to snipe the orange lower bet with Zex. I respect it. I respect trying to snipe the one that no one's going for, because if you win, that's a lot of points. A lot of people are saying blue, but I'm, I'm going to stick with purple. I'm going to stick with my guns and say purple. All right. Let's take a look. Predictions are in. Most in Twitch chat are saying blue. Scudder in YouTube says yellow. I say purple. Maybe red. Lower end of purple. Let's see.
I was three. Ah, I should have said the middle of purple. He's Fujin. He's Fujin. Uh, it's not even like I. Thank God I didn't say red first of all, because <laughs> because being being three off with him being at Fujin isn't that bad. It's not terrible. Like I don't feel three off is outside of it's, my my realm of being correct is if I'm within two. Three off is unfortunate, but I don't feel that bad. Thank God I didn't say Tenryu. Jesus Christ. I'm surprised that the Reina is a lower rank than the Victor, but it's not yellow. It turns out that the Reina was blue because it's always blue. We should have taken it as a sign. I, you know, there are some things though that make sense that the Victor's Fujin, right? Like not just constantly doing the two, 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 two string. Like I was saying before, the Reina, the Reina new frame traps and stuff. And that's usually indicative of them being a little bit higher. I really wish that I said flame rule because I was tempted to say it, but I said mighty rule because my brain was thinking that it might be red. So I'm not too surprised. I'm just disappointed in myself. It's always blue somehow. I shouldn't be surprised, but they play so corny. Maybe I'm overestimating blue rank. Trust me, I was for a while too. First time blue rank and post Tekken King blue rank are different ranks. Yeah, they really are. That's what makes it really tough is if you have to determine if they're blue rank, but they're both playing in secondary, so they're actually Tekken King or not. Makes blue ranks really weird to figure out. All right, game three. We got a Lydia. We got a Lydia and a Shaheen. Same stage as last time as well. One, two, four to start out. Oh no. They're doing the down three, one, and two, just letting it rip. No, oh, she did try punishing that, minus 13. That was good. Out of range, unfortunately, but I like the little Tekken that's being played, a lot of jabs. Did duck under that, also minus 14, but it's the 10 string. Big counter hit, nicely played. You, okay. One thing you've got to know of Lydia is that that toe kick there, you, it will always attack off access after you do the sweep. So if you see someone do that, just launch them. 2-2 two, two connected, minus 10, no punish. The Shein does not know the matchup. Jab, jab. Wow! I was about to say, I hate this game. Go Lydia, go. Go Lydia, go. The Victor stepped out the Victor. The Shaheen sidestepped the wrong way. Minus 13 again. Again, they're just letting that string go. I guess the 4-2-4 uh, four didn't punish, though, so that's why they're not doing the punish. You can probably still punish with back 1-3, though. Minus 13, no punish again. It's just a lot of little Tekken, right? This guy's just doing jab into, like, down forward 1 and stuff, or down forward 2. It's a lot of the same thing, and the Shaheen doesn't know how to handle it at all. All right, 4-4 four, four counter hit. Again, it's jab in the house sweep. Is this Crush? I know that I know that Crush did this a lot. Oh no. Oh yes! Grab punish. He's dead. Oh! Dressed in red, but ranked in blue. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a lot of jabs, right? It's a lot of jabs and then down forward one. One, two, four. Hey, that connected. It wasn't counter hit, but he didn't hit into it. Nice counter hit on the forward four, two. Into nothing, didn't duck the high. This is reminding me a lot of how Crush plays. I almost think it's Crush. If this is Crush, I'm going to laugh my ass off. I don't remember what rank Crush is, though. I'm purely going to guess what rank this is based off of Crush's rank. It's an odd match. It really is. Down four, two, connect, spring kick. Minus 13, again, no punish. And then just jab in the throw. Yeah, so it, it, this this entire match was Lydia did jab into an attack and it's it's almost exactly how Crush plays. So I'm going to start the prediction for you guys. I'm going to cheat though, because I, I think this is someone from the chat. I think this is a Lydia player from the chat. And I think I know exactly who it is. Unfortunately, I didn't see the nameplate, obviously, because I didn't want to see their rank, but I'm gonna guess blue. I'm gonna guess Fujin because I just I I think this is Crush. I I think it's Fujin. I think I think that the victor might be like a purple rank, but I'm gonna say Fujin just based off that information. So you know the rank. I think I know who is playing Lydia. I might be wrong, 
but their playstyle reminds me a lot of someone from the chat. So I'm going to say blue because I think it's that person. It's a complete shot in the dark. Um, if I was guessing not based on that, I would probably say like purplish. So, but I'm going to throw a Hail Mary. I'm going to say that the victor is purple and the video is blue. That's what I'm gonna guess. Based off no information other than what I just said. So what do we got here for predictions? Going about 50-50 between blue and purple. Okay, I think that's fair. I think purple is fair to guess. I'm, I ha I'm doing a complete Hail Mary, complete shot in the dark. If that's true, you're a witch. Even if it's not who I'm thinking of, if it is someone from the chat, pfft, I am a witch. All right, let's take a look. I'll keep the predictions up this time and also move the YouTube chat over a little bit so it's not taking over. All right, let's see. Damn, it was Eliminator. Okay, I'm not, look, I, I did it as a shot. No one voted for Orange. I did it as a shot in the dark. I thought it was someone from the chat. It wasn't, they played like someone from the chat who is Fujin. So that's why I guess I'm not very surprised that they're Eliminator at all. Just to be completely honest with you, because it was it was just jab in a down forward one. I wouldn't have put them at Eliminator. I would have put them at like, like I said, like lower purple, so Mighty Rule at Tenryu. Uh, and you know, that makes sense because they're playing a second day. The Shaheen's also playing a second day, which I was surprised by. But to like recognize that that move was minus 13 and to try punishing it with forward two four, recognize that it didn't punish and then not do it again. It's very surprising to me that they're Eliminator and that their main is even purple. I would have expected their main to be blue with the way that they were playing. I mean, and because they were playing very conservative, small attacking with jabs and stuff. I'm I'm genuinely surprised. I'm impressed. The Sheen I'm also not very surprised by because the Sheen was doing a lot of big punishable moves for no reason. So, but I was just going off the Lydia because I thought the Lydia was a better player. You know, I took a shot there. It would have been very funny if I was right. I was wrong. But the good thing is because no one voted for Orange, you all get your points back. Ah, uh, you gaslighted the voting. I did. All right, game four started. It might be starting. Oh God, we got an Elisa and a Jack. Just based on his outfit. Based on both of these outfits, I should say. Red rank. I got none EU member. Oh yeah, that's right. EU gambling. No punish on the down forward two. Well, that's not good. Ducks under that. Get, gets the punish on that one with a four. It's not a great punish, but it's a punish. No whiff punish there. I don't know if that was, but I want to see if this was supposed to be while running two or not, because that does make a difference. It was supposed to be while running two. Oh, no, it wasn't. No, 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 it wasn't. That was supposed to be four, four, two, three. Okay, never mind. Big heat smash. Jabs him out of that, but doesn't know what to do afterwards. Gets a little bit stunned. Okay. No duck there. Gets out of the heat smash. Still in heat, though. Heat smash is there. Doesn't go in the boot, which is smart when he's in rage. And then the jack reacted with rage on. Hmm. Not too shabby. The reaction with Rayjaw is very telling. And the Elisa choosing not to go into, um, into whatchamacallit, into boot after the heat smash as well. To bait out Rayjaw is also very telling. One down forward three and not doing the second hit. You can get forward one there as a punish with Jack. It's minus 16. You, you could probably do down forward two as well. That trades, good follow up, 51. Nice wake up kick. The wake up options are really good here. These guys are good. Nice hop kick to try avoiding the grab, I think, was the intention there. Nice hop kick again. Minus nine. Tries to jab there. Gets the heat burst off, thankfully. Doesn't do anything. Delays for the four, two, one, and then does that so you can get this. And then that's not quite going the kill. And then down forward three, nicely played. Down forward one, good punish again. Oh, she's trying to set up for that down three. Jack attacked into it. That's actually not abnormal. 
I don't know why my game is lagging. Nice low parry on the second low. That was unfortunate. She knew I was minus 13, but didn't commit to the string because she didn't want to die, which is smart. And then just trying the DES stuff. Nice block. Does the wall rising one punish, but does, or the two punish, but doesn't finish it because he doesn't know, which is smart. One, two to try punishing, but it's not quite in range. Nice break on the grab. Wow. Minus 15 back four would have been able to punish this. Still didn't duck under that. Nice whip punish on heat burst. Down four, two connects. Jack's still in it. Wow. Final round in game four here. Nice hop kick to go over the low. That was a big read. Going to the wall. Interesting wall ender. Maybe to try getting Oki. Probably could have done down back one plus two there while they were on the ground. Oh, again, not using that back four as a whip punish is going to really cost. Tries to do magic four. Fortunately, was airborne with down three, so they didn't get hit too hard. The Jack tried breaking one plus two, but had two frames of two there, which was unfortunate. Guaranteed follow-up. No health left. Down three is going to kill. Nicely played. Okay. Um, what a game. That was a pretty solid game. And you know what? Star prediction. Tekken King. I, I, I want to say Tekken Emperor. I think Tekken Emperor. They both played really solid. This could even be Tekken God. The only reason I don't think it is, is because Elisa wasn't ducking those highs and Tekken Gods would duck those highs. But the low parries baiting out Rayjot, the timing using Rayjot, the, the poking, the um the combos the situational awareness this is like this is this is this is tekken king tekken emperor and i'm gonna go on the high end and say tekken emperor it was really solid and if you ever have a solid elisa player listen grocery you say it's solid but i think it's tekken purple if you ever have a solid elisa player it is always tekken king at minimum because you can get to blue rings with Elisa by just mashing your face on the controller. If you have an Elisa that's competent, it's at least Tekken King. After that blue victory, yeah, maybe Tekken King. Not a lot of confidence in the Tekken King vote, though. Let's just pull it up here. Um, we got a couple on Tekken King. We got two on, on blue with a big 1k bet on blue. Um, we got three on purple. And we got no one on red. So if this is red rig, uh, I'm going to go and scream. I'm, I'm going to go scream. I haven't had to do it once yet when I've made that bet in this series, but maybe this will be it. But if this is red rig, I just, I, I won't know what to do for the rest of my life, basically. If it's red, I'm crying. Same. I'm going red. The zero point EU bet on red. So if it's red, then everyone loses their points and they go into a void. Plot twist, smurf red ring. It's a smurf. They're both smurf red rings. Yeah, all right. If it's a smurf, they're both smurfs because they both played equally well. So let's take a look. <laughs> My bet for chaos. I put Tekken King. I think you're right. Let's take a look. What? <gasps> no! 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 That's not possible! Dominator! That Elisa was Dominator! Baiting out Rage Art, Punishing moves correctly. Doing uh, the fucking strings, the down four, three, you know what I'm trying to say. Staggering strings. Proper mix-ups. Neutral play. Poking. Counter hit confirming. And they're a Dominator! That Elisa and the Jack, don't get me wrong, the Jack as well. It's throwing me off that the Elisa is Dominator. That Elisa played better than 90% of the Bushins that are on this series. Are you fucking serious? I need to check and make sure this is ranked because I didn't set the filter to ranked. That, cause that, that's not right. 
the these two players are not this rank if this is ranked i mean all of your points are gone if this is not ranked i am refunding the points because no one because the only bet for red or low was from eu and i don't think that's fair especially when no one would be getting points out of it because th this is the first time in the entire series where i genuinely do not believe both of these players are the rank that they say they are there's simply no way yeah it was quick match all right you all are getting your points refunded because that wasn't ranked those two were not shinryu and dominator these are two players that exclusively play quick match this it's this is not th that is not their rank Th that is not their rank let me just look last time they played ranked yeah i mean the last time that they played ranked well actually they played like june september 6. okay they actually have played june miss bullfighter is a lydia player oh no if someone bet bo betted on red you, they would have got points and it would have been my fault because there was no genuine bet for red rank i'm not going to delete your points because that's just not fair i, I don't think that's fair uh that's completely my fault but that <laughs> That was funny. I don't have to go outside and scream though. I'm I'm making that a caveat. Uh, your points will not go into the void. Jesus Christ. Anyway, can we move on from this? That Lisa plays goes in the rank for one day every two or three weeks. There you go. There you go. So they go in the rank every two or three weeks because they're like, oh, I can easily get a character up to like orange rank or something and then that's when they do it what rank is there well this is from today so it's not going to be yeah it's not going to have actually changed but um yeah that was wild that was wild this is why we stick at for ranked matches i just forgot to set the filter uh so again my fault completely my fault this jack hasn't gone the ranked on someone other than raid apparently again there you go this is why i love guess the rank it's very funny and always very scuff i mean we we made guess the rank history there that was the first time in this entire series where i simply did not believe the rank <laughs> i get baffled but that's the first time i've ever been i've ever said no no this is impossible what game is this is this game five is this game four or five judging by the time i'm assuming this is game five so let's just say game five now this is actually a ranked game claudio versus yoshimitsu the yoshimitsu is afk okay sure launch that was such a delayed down forward two, it's actually blowing my mind. Okay, from couch down forward four. That's all right. Big counter hit. Nice. The back two two. Did you just try punishing a hot kick with down forward two? What? Okay, so he's not actually punishing. I mean, one one hit. It's not really doing it. Okay, forward one plus two heat dash down two but doesn't hit confirm it minus 11 doesn't punish it because you know why why would you hold on was that intentional do we think that i don't think that was intentional i i think he just did instant while rising to one just for funsies based off of those down four twos i don't think he actually was trying to punish a high maybe he's high <laughs> oh god He's, he's just doing down forward too. Minus 11. Again, no punish. That was a hit confirm from the Quadio. Doesn't kill. Low kills. From couch down forward four. No watch punish. To be fair, no one ever punishes that. Okay, he punished that there. Finally, we got a punish. So that down forward two was intentional. What the? That's messed up. That's so ridiculous. Nice. That was a good way to get back in the game. Full wall combo. And he has to deal with the Oki. He has to deal with Oki again in rage. Wake up rage on. He did try the break correctly, but he broke late. Wake up rage out would have killed there as well. Okay, so I just want to point out what happened here. From round start, Yoshi was just neutral guarding. He got hit by hot kick because he was neutral guarding. He didn't even press a button. He just set the controller down, was done with it. Five frames of forward. What's happening? 
bad connection, maybe. I mean, that could be it. Goes for the Zep Quadru, doesn't wake up into it. Not bad. It's very telling that the Quadru didn't wake up into it. There's a punish on the hot kick, finally. Okay, 1-1 one, one again. Just throwing out 1-1s one, like it's nobody's business. Minus two. There, yeah, nice whiff punish. That was great spacing for the whiff punish as well. I saw that spacing, I knew exactly why I was doing it. Ray drop makes sense. Arrivederci. Yoshi in rage. 3-4 on wake up and it works. Final round. You should just let it go, man. You saw him side step, you knew he was gonna hit a button. Nice chicken fishing for the count hit. There it is. Oh, he didn't get the flash. It's not even the right combo, I don't believe. I think you can do like no sword stance flash, but normal flash there I don't believe works. Running two. Nice. That was a good way to catch him out there. He doesn't know that you get forward one plus two guaranteed there in heat, but it doesn't matter, he won. Not bad, not a bad game at all. I'm torn, personally, on this one. Yoshi won one OP. It really, it's it's very good. I'm torn between purple and blue. The Yoshi started out really weird, but he started doing the right punishes later. Like he was punishing the down forward two one in the hop kick. And again, we've seen, th this is something that I, I try saying, is that those like two hit, low disc space, windows, I don't care. Those two hit, uh, launch strings like Quadio's down forward one two are launch punishable the universally launch punishable and we see people even in blue ranks that don't launch punish that at first I thought that was an accident but the Yoshi was punished like later on for whatever reason was punishing hop kick correct down forward two so here's what I think based on that one round where he's neutral guarded for the first like five seconds of the of the round I think that the Yoshi was distracted with something in the first couple of rounds and that's why like the down forward two and stuff was late and he wasn't getting the right punishes and that's why after that he was starting to do the right stuff. And the Quadio seemed fairly competent as well. So I'm going to say Kishin. I don't think this is Tekken King, but the, the, just the correct punishment alone and the use of Rage Arts and stuff from the Quadio after the Heat Smash tells me that it's around blue rank and also the Yoshi abusing those moves that force Trouch and doing the firm Trouch down forward four off of them. That 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 situational awareness tells me that this is fairly competent. So I'm gonna say Kishin. That's where I'm at. Same stuff, I'm torn because this might actually be purple. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it is. Right? If it's red rank, I would be surprised. Um, I would be very impressed if it's purple rank, I wouldn't be surprised. I would think it's pretty normal to say this is like Kishin, right? Um, like bordering on attacking King, again, simply because of the punishment. And the fact that the Yoshi, thinking about the fact that the Yoshi doesn't have a, a, a custom on, tells me that they're playing a secondary and that their main is Tekken King, which would again make sense if they're blue rank. And that would also make sense if the Quadri was playing a secondary and they were Tekken King, or say they were Bushin, right? And that's starting to make me think that maybe it is Tekken King because maybe the Claudio's Tekken King and the Yoshi is like Kishin or something. I, I don't quite think that's it. But um, that would make sense if they're both Tekken Kings on secondaries. That would explain why the Yoshi has the default outfit on. So I'm going to say Kishin. I, I actually feel very confident about it. I think it gets wrapped together very nicely and perfectly. And I think it's, it just makes sense. So let's see what the chat is saying. Uh, we got one EU bet on red. We got two on purple. And we got most people saying blue because it's always blue. I agree with it. I agree with it. I don't think there's much else to say. So let's take a look. Yeah. Yeah. It was it was Raijin and Bushin. And right in between, that's Kishin. So... I mean, again, I'm not surprised. His name is Nice Flow Chat. I'm not surprised. I, I don't think there's much else to say. They both played really solid. And again, look at their prowess, 259,000, 265,000. So it's basically exactly what I said. They were like Tekken King or higher, and they were both playing secondaries, and they were both high blue. Yeah, I, like, 
Th there's not much else to say. I that's j I was just right on, and I'm not even surprised. I'm not happy about. I'm not surprised. I'm. It's just what I expected. That was one of the easiest and most relaxed predictions I've ever had. I feel satisfied even if I lost a bet. Yeah, that was a very that was a very nice satisfying one. No one is upset about it. No one's saying you like what the hell is that. No one's confused. It just makes sense. It's nice, everything comes together, no questions to ask, it all just makes sense and it's very nice. This never happens on Guess the Reg if you're new to this. Next! I think this is game six. Very calm prediction, Ex especially after the last one, extremely calm. Speaking of calm, this music is not calm actually. Xiao Yu in a bear shirt versus Nina in latex. All right, great. Okay, so we're just starting out by being Nina plays. Good. Nice whiff punish. Oh, man. This is at least blue already. No question about it. Oh, I didn't get that. Was, probably wasn't expecting it to hit. I wouldn't have expected it to hit either. I don't blame the Shao Yu at all. Guaranteed follow up. Doesn't want the wall break, which is interesting. Um, I would want the wall break if I'm playing against Nina. Guaranteed follow up there. We tried the wake up kick as the whip punish, but realigned both in rage now. Just trying to play it safe. The Nina tries shooting the Shao Yu from long range, and the Shao Yu goes in. Nina somehow came back from that. That's surprising. Big Snake Edge at the stop punishes Nina's round stud option. Good. Does that again. Nina, I, I don't know if the Nina tried blocking that or not. Okay. Doesn't quite get the right wall combo. Again, Nina's in heat, but she came back from this pretty well last time. Oh, it doesn't get... You can get forward, forward, three there. This game fucking sucks, man. I'm saying God of Destruction. Purple. Perfect. Okay, the Shao Yu's still alive, at least. Not even in rage. Now she's in rage. Oh, for God's sake. This damn... She's stealing this. That's twice the Shao Yu should have won the round and twice that she lost just to the pure bullshit. Okay, guaranteed follow up. Again, back turn. Wake up kick whisk again. It's unfortunate. God, this sucks. I feel bad for the Shao Yu. I feel really bad for the Shao Yu. Red, purple. God, I hate this. Ass match. <laughs> that one, this one was terrible. That third round was a round of low spirits. I, that was just... It's not a prediction. Blue. Orange to blue. Just... Ugh. Um, okay. So, purple is the middle of the road. That's my issue right now, is I'm thinking... I want to say purple just to say, ah, uh, it's just somewhere in the middle. But I think it's either... Ah, no, I think it could be purple. The whiff punish at the round start with Shao Yu is what's getting me. The Shao Yu just lost to a lot of unfortunate timing incidents, and the Nina was using the right things to be able to beat the Shao Yu. I don't think this is low rank. I think it looks low rank because it was just really bad. But it, and and the Shao Yu got robbed three times. But I don't think that it's red. This is just how Nina operates. So. I think that just based on how they play neutral, how the Nina was choosing her options, and just how the entire thing went. Um, at first, I was thinking that was Tekken Kings on a secondary. I still think that's the case. I'm going to say Fujin. I'm going to say Fujin. I'm going to be mad when it's like Battle Ruler or Flame Ruler or something. But that's why I'm saying Fujin, because I want to say in between purple and blue. I, it's not high blue. It's not. I don't think it's low purple. I think Fujin is a good bet, and it's always blue. We just watched a robbery. Yeah, exactly. And that's what makes me mad. I think because of the timing of the Asuka, it's purple. Also, Nerf Devilgen. All right, let's take a look at the predictions here from you guys. Right, so we got two saying red, four saying purple three saying blue this is one of those games and we also got one on orange just to try to take even people's points because chaos this is one of those games where no matter what the rank is unless it's tucking well no even if it's tucking king i honestly wouldn't be surprised i have i don't care this is one of those games where no matter what the rank is i'm not gonna be surprised and i don't care let's take a look the flying kick in the roll four times in a row, though. 
That's a good point, but that wouldn't make sense if it was Fujin then. Mighty Ruler. All right. I mean, again, I'm not surprised. Like, I, I said it could be purple. Both of them are Mighty Ruler. Like I said before, I was dis I'm was i disappointed I didn't say Bower Ruler, Flame Ruler instead of Blue. I went on the upper end instead of the lower end. But I'm not surprised at all. The Shao Yu, though, for a Mighty Ruler, played really well. I, I think that just kind of goes without saying. Got caught by some unfortunate things that make sense for a purple rank Nino to use, like just throwing out the gunshots in neutral and stuff like that. But I mean, I'm not surprised. I'm I'm really not. Most of you vote for purple though. So uh congratulations for those of you who vote purple. I feel absolutely nothing about that. <laughs> the one time I didn't vote purple. Maybe it's not always blue. I'll take it, but it should be lower. <laughs> I think we got enough time for one more, especially with how disappointing that one was. Big Encore game. Also because we had that one Jack and Elisa game that was an absolute mess and wasn't a real prediction. Um, we got we got an Encore game. So let's do our last game and hopefully this last one's going to be a little bit better than whatever that was. All right, Encore game. We got Jin versus Elisa and they played the intros interesting nice duck oh my god duck on one two three or one two four whatever it is unfortunate there this goes into that manually d has to beat the wave dash i mean hey it makes sense does the chip damage one plus two no break from the gin that's disappointing okay this is immediately starting to look like a certain kind of game although the down jab this is really weird because you see the elisa doing good things like the down jab and stuff then you don't see Jin even trying to duck that. Then again, I see Elisa's do that in like blue rank, so fuck, I do it. Hi, Turbo. This is Guess the Rank. It is the encore game of Guess the Rank, yes. Boop. That was a big trade. Down two. Did she? Hold on. I need to see if she tried to sidestep that or if she ducked it. I think she tried to sidestep and accidentally got a down back input. That's what I'm going to say. She brought, she did break two. It was just late. This is a really weird game. Magic four, down three is guaranteed follow up there. Again, the Jin isn't even trying to break. Like he did, he, he did one plus three, which is crazy. Nice. Again, the one plus twos, those are zero on block. Down three. I, I honestly really like canceling the DES to try changing up the timing and then doing down three. The Elisa is just simply a lot better than the Jin is. Nice armor to go through the 10 string. Just immediate heat dash. Okay, the Jin blocked something, but didn't get a while rising punish. Okay, no, no 14 frame punish on that. Elisa gets forward three, two there. Tried punishing that, but was late. Backdashed out of that. Elisa can backdash out of that string, but didn't capitalize on it. Does the follow up. Jin can also option select uh, Elisa's up forward three with just his four. The replay registers intro inputs. Yeah, it registers if you skip the intro or not. Again, no break, just breaking one plus two. Just going for it. Jin doesn't punch. It's minus 13. There you go. Again, he ducked it. Okay, that's definitely a duck and not a sidestep. The only thing tried using Rage Art. And the Jin won. Okay. So, um, this is not good. This was not a good game. I'm thinking Keishin. No break again. Maybe Raijin. No movement. Red rank is my guess. How, how it fell so hot. It fell for me too, to be honest with you. Star prediction. Orange to blue. Um, it's a pretty interesting match. I don't know what I'm looking at. This is blue. I think purple. That that's it. This is that's what this is. They played confidently enough with the down jabs and stuff for it not to be too low, but it's not. It wasn't girly, and it reminds me a lot of the last game where I just don't care. If it's blue, I would be surprised. I think this is the one time where we can say it's not always blue. Yeah, I mean, I just, I think it's purple. I, I think it reminds me a lot of that that Nina and Xiao Yu game from the last one. And I don't know. That's all I really have to say. Like they did things that were dumb. They did things that were good. 
I couldn't make fun of it a lot. And if I can't make fun of it, it's either purple or blue. So I'm going to say purple. I'm just going to go right in the middle of purple. I'm going to say flame ruler. All I have to say. I, there's not much else. This was not a very good encore game. I mean, usually the encore games are good. This one kind of sucked. <laughs> That's how it is on Guess the Rank. Everything's random and the ranks don't matter. Let's see what you guys are saying here. We got about halfway through the prediction. So we still got four seconds left. But we got three on red, four on purple, three on blue. So it's, it's split. It's split between red and blue. And I'm kind of the same in my head right now. I don't know if it's blue. Like it, it might be Fusion. I'd be a little bit surprised, but it might be Fusion. It could be red. It could, like this. I don't know what else to say. It's just somewhere in there. And I think purple. I'm just going to say purple. Just going right in the middle and saying purple. The gen held back and didn't Korean backdash, which makes me think it can't be blue. I have seen Tekken Kings in this series that don't know how to Korean backdash. I, the Korean backdashing does not make a difference there's a hint of blue because the elisa at least just doing stuff and knowing that they have advantage yeah and elite like the way elisa plays you have to keep in mind doesn't indicate their rank really because elisa players will just even at bushin will throw out like back 40 plus four because it somehow works so if anything an elisa play doing decently means that they should be like taking god so going by that logic, this is like a Kishin game. But anyway, the predictions are in. So let's take a look at the final game for today. I think it's Tekken. Yeah, I do too. Fujin's a big possibility, but purple also. Yeah, it could be literally anything just like the last game. This is one of those where you can't really tell what the rank actually is. And you just have to go by feel. And I'm going by feel. And my feel says frame, like, fl flame ruler. My God, help me. What did I just say? What did I just say about Elisa plays? If if they if they're not completely brain dead, then somehow that means that they're Kishin or Bushin. I hate that I'm right. I absolutely loathe that I was right. This is the problem with Elisa. Elisa's just a joker. Elisa's a wild card. You can't tell with Elisa. Because Elite like the fact that Elisa only did back three plus four once really tells you that the Elisa genuinely is like blue rank. Because if it was a purple rank Elisa, you all know what they'd be doing. I will demonstrate to you what Elisa would have been doing here if they were purple rank. That's what they would have been doing. Um, so yeah, I, I like I'm mad that it's Keishin, and I'm also mad that I'm not surprised it's Keishin, but this is what Elisa looks like at blue rank. That's that's it. We're done with guess the rank. I'm out of here. See ya. The, this is this series was a mistake. Um please learn the Elisa matchup. I beg you to learn the Elisa matchup. Those are my parting words. Goodbye.